Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you. So if you wanna see what I picked up this time, stick around and watch this video. So I didn't know if we were gonna have a Dollar Tree this week. Um, we, I, sorry. I guess when I said we, I meant me and my husband. Um, but I went the other day specifically looking for something, couldn't find it. And then yesterday I went to Walmart and to the Dollar Tree because I forgot that there was a Dollar Tree over by that Walmart. Well, that Walmart, that Walmart, that Dollar Tree is like, I've been to it a few times, but like last year. So they've rearranged everything. It looks really nice. They put a snack zone in there. So I'm probably going to start going to that one more because it is by the Walmart and I do go to Walmart so it's not like it's that far out of my way and I got a lot of things on my wish list that were at that uh, Dollar Tree. Um, sorry for my voice if it still sounds like I'm sick. My allergies are just kicking my ass. Yesterday was such a nice day and today I wake up and it's raining so you know. Anyway so we're going to jump into this because like I said I got a ton of stuff. So I got candle wasted. Like, I have had so many candles on my wish list. My store finally put in some new ones, and then the other store that I went to had some new ones that I've been wanting as well. So I'm going to start with these blue ones with the cork lids. Um, I, my store has had them, and I just never picked them up. I never smelled them. So... I don't know why, it's probably because I just have like a ton of candles that I just need to burn, so I just haven't been picking up candles lately, um, because I still have like a box full of candles. I just like need to start burning more. I guess I don't burn candles enough. <laughs> I have a huge one burning in my bathroom and I think that's why. It's just taking me a really long time to burn it. So anyways. Um, so if you collect these and you're wondering if there's a number one, well, I found it. So number one is called Calm. It smells really good. Number two is Renewal. Number three is Happy, and this one is my favorite. And then four is Energy. So, um, I don't have high hopes for the throw on these, but I don't know the, on Cold Sniff, they do, they are pretty strong, so maybe they will have a good throw. I mainly wanted them for the jars and the corks because I have a DIY in mind for these. So if you've had two, three, and four, there is a number one. So, cause I just picked it up, I just saw it. So, and I haven't seen anybody haul it yet. So I know some people have hauled two, three, and four. So they're gonna be wondering, but I don't know if they follow me, so I'm not sure. Anyways, I got those four. I also got this one from Old Williamsburg. It goes with the cactus blossom, hibiscus water, and the lilac one. This one's jasmine waters, and this one smells really good too. And I just love the packaging with the flowers, so it goes with that collection. Finally found my mermaid candles. That's what I'm calling these. I don't care if that's not even what they're called. They look like mermaid scales to me and I love the jars. So I picked up two last time of the dark blue ones. They're both the same. I just forgot that I had one and I picked it up. But I found Blue Lagoon and these do not have a strong um, scent on Cold Sniff. So I had, don't have a high hopes for these either but I mainly wanted the jars. And then this one is Mermaid Reef. So I got those two. And then I found finally the black ones that I love the jars as well. So I got number one and number three. This one's Fog Cloud and this one's River Rock. So if you don't like the smell of men's cologne or men's body wash or like Axe, you're probably not gonna like these because that's what it smells like to me anyways. Um, I know there's a number two. I saw Stephanie couponing girl, she hauled one. And it, she said it smelled like a pine tree or a Christmas tree. So I know there's a number two. So hopefully I can find that one. So I got those two. And then I got two of the coffee candles. My store only had this one. And it's the chocolate mocha. I don't get mocha at all. Um, to me this smells like straight up chocolate. It smells good. But I mainly wanted it for the lid. I just thought it lo looked so cute. I probably won't burn this. Um because I just absolutely love that it looks like a coffee cup. 
And then I picked up this one and I love this smell. It smells like a caramel latte. And this is what it's called. I don't know how to say that. So that's it for the candles. And then I guess we'll just go to some of these little signs. I finally found the succulent sign. I'm so excited. I did my little happy dance. This was the last one with this font and this one. They had the other ones, but I didn't like the font. I love the cursive writing. Thankful and grateful with the succulents. There's one little cacti right there. Don't know where I'm going to put this or what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll find something for it. So I was super excited to finally find that. And then over here, you can see this little wooden sign. It kind of blends in with the background. So I want to move that somewhere else. And so I picked up this one and it says, it's so good to be home, has the galvanized metal and it has a little kickstand. So I'll put that there and then that way you can actually see it. <laughs> um, so I got that. And then I had this maybe a year and a half ago um, in the apartment we had and it got ruined. But my store just now had a box of them, so I don't know if they're left over or if they're new. But it says, coffee because anger management is too expensive. And it has a little kickstand, so you can stand it up. So I'm going to put it next to my Keurig on my coffee bar. Um, I had to throw mine away. Like I said, it got ruined. So I'm super excited to replace it. And then I saw this one with it. And I've never seen this one, and it says, can't touch this. And it's a little cactus. It's so cute with the kickstand. I'm going to keep this for myself because I love cactuses. And then, I don't even know. So I guess we'll get into some health and beauty or makeup, whatever you want to call it. So I've been hauling a lot of nails and I don't have nail glue. So it's just, I mean, I have one, but it's almost empty and you can just, even with Rick, like you, when you get your nails done or if you do them yourself, like if it pops off or it cracks real fast, put a little bit of glue on there and you're good to go for the day. So I have one in my purse, but I wanted to get one because when I go visit my family this weekend, I'm gonna take nails with me because my sister wants me to do hers. So I love this brand of glue. I don't like the Sassy and Chic one. That one to me, some people have good luck with it, but I don't. To me, it sucks. This one is stronger. So I like the pink one. So I got one more because I have a ton of nails. So I want a new glue for my sisters to choose from. My daughter picked out some nail polish. So this one is by LA Colors and it's called it girl 192 is the number on there it's a really pretty like fuchsia magenta and then this one's like a pink this one's like a hot pink but it looks like it's a little salmon color and it's called juicy and this one is number 42 so got she picked out those two because she likes me painting her toes and her nails i picked up one of these lip glosses from sinful colors and i already opened it and it's called Gossip. So it does tell you the name on the back. So you have to open it in order to find it. They had like a red, a purple, a blue, a green, which I don't wear that stuff on my lips. I'm natural, glossy, or like a light brown. So it's a really cute color. Um, it is sparkly and it is iridescent. And that's what it says on the packaging. So I picked up one of those. I love the smell. It smells really good. And then I picked up another package of scrunchies. Um, you get eight in here. These are just the solid black ones. I need more. I don't know. I like always lose them. I don't use this thing. It just, it hurts. And my hair just gets all wrapped up in there and it doesn't feel good. So I got another package of those. Picked up a travel size Crest 3D white toothpaste for when we go visit. Cause mine is so huge. And it's almost empty anyways that I don't want to take it. I'd rather just take this smaller one. It'll fit better in the bag anyways. So it's 2.5 ounces. Sorry, my ear is like really itchy. So I picked up that. And then I hauled some Minion Band-Aids. Well, those ones don't work for me. They're, they work more for little kids. Um, and I think it's probably because of the placement that I have it. I have a blister right here on my knuckle. Um, and I was trying to put it there, but it like wouldn't wrap around all the way. So it was like bugging me, but I found these minion ones and these ones are longer. And I like to wear little, I'm a little kid at heart. I love wearing fun little band-aids. I use my daughter's troll ones. Um, so I picked up these ones cause the other ones are in my car and my little emergency kit. 
just in case we're out somewhere and she scrapes and falls. But these ones I'll keep in my medicine cabinet. And I just thought these were super cute. So you get 20 in there. Found some more soap of the soft soap brand. This one's jasmine and mint and it smells really good. I really like that one. And then I also found this one and it has lotion in it. So it's orchid and coconut milk. The coconut milk isn't very overpowering so I don't mind the smell. And I want to see how it feels on my hands because I have really dry hands. So I picked up one of those. They had a ton of these and they still had the plum and peony and plum. So they just didn't have the green one that I'm on the hunt for and it's cucumber and something and I can't remember. But I finally found the three in one power stick foaming body wash for my hubby. This is what I was looking for to put in his Easter basket and my store never got it. The one over by Walmart had it and it has the pump which I know he'll love and he'll use. We just got some but this one's smaller so I think I'm going to take this one with us when we go visit my family because it's pretty small. And his other one is like pretty tall. And then I found the shampoo and conditioner everybody's been hauling. This one's the Salon Color Restore. So I'm hoping that this will work because I do dye my hair. And anything to help it from me having to dye it constantly and all of that. This smells really good. So I hope it works. They had the one for the blonde hair. Um, and they had the orange one. But the orange one you only get one. And I don't know if it's shampoo or conditioner. But you only get one. So... I like that it has shampoo and conditioner. Anyways, so that's it for like the health and beauty. Now we're going to get into some stationary stuff. I got a little washi tape wasted. Some of these I already have because they repeat the colors, but this one I thought the flowers were really pretty and I like that yellow one. So I got that one. You get seven in all of these. This one is cute too with the stars. There's the little hearts. So I got that. And then this one says Girl Boss. I'm not necessarily fond of this one, but I was in, um, I mainly wanted it for the hot pink, the black, and then the striped ones. So I got that. Then I picked up a package of these pens. I need to put some in my car because one of them died on me. And then the other one, I think my husband took it by mistake. So I need to put some in there. So I'm going to probably put all of these in there just so that way I have a pen. I mean, I have a pen in my purse, but sometimes it's harder to you know reach behind me and grab it and I'm trying to do something so I can just lift up the glove box and there's a pen so I picked up these and they're really soft and they're black ink and I just thought the colors were pretty cool so I got that finally found some red paint I got some from the 99 cent store and it wasn't the right color red so I couldn't use it I went to Walmart specifically for red paint sorry about that so what I was saying is I went to Walmart specifically to pick up red paint because I got that one from the 99 cent store and it wasn't the right color red. Um, it was red but the one that I have is just like a darker red so I didn't want to use that one on top of it because it just wouldn't have made any sense to me. But I found this one and I'm hoping that this one's dark enough. Um, it's called Art Time Tempera Paint. I don't know. So, but it says that it's red and you get four fluid ounces. So I got that from Dollar Tree. Hopefully that'll work. And then I found these sitting up there next to it. And since I'm painting clothes pins, I think these will be easier to get underneath than using a big foam brush. So I picked up a package of these. You get five. These aren't the best quality paint brushes, but I mean, they'll do the job for what I need. And if I have to throw them away afterwards, then it's not a big deal. I only spent a dollar. Because I looked at Walmart and they didn't have any that I wanted, so I didn't get any. I found some Toy Story 4 stickers. They're the puffy ones. So you get Bo Peep, Buzz, Woody, and then you get that little spork guy that Bonnie makes. And so my daughter loves stickers, so got those. And then she picked up this. She has a ton of the packages. She has like a PJ Masks, a Paw Patrol, and a Trolls one. And now she has Vampirina. So you get 150. You get four sheets. So there's the foil sparkly ones. Then you have the regular stickers. And then more regular. And then the last one is some more regular. So she saw this sitting there and I let her grab it. And then I saw this and I thought this was really pretty and 
right here on my island, there's a drawer, and it is full of bills. So I tell my husband that I don't want them in here, and he still puts them in here. So I'm hoping that we can start putting them in here, and then in my coffee table, it pops open. So I'm going to see if this will fit down in there, and then we can just put all of our bills in there just to keep it organized. They had a bunch of different designs, but I liked this one the best with the flowers. I thought it was really pretty. This is really sturdy cardboard, and then it shows you right here how to fold it. And it is by Jot. So I got that. Sorry, drinking some coffee. Okay. So I picked up some wall art stuff. And I already put it in my kid's bathroom. So I can't show you. But you'll see it when I do the tour um, of their bathroom. And it just says, I love you more than all the narwhals in the sea. And then it has a narwhal and some hearts. It's really cute. Because the ones that I put on there, I don't know if I just didn't push them hard enough on the cupboard door or, you know, if it's from the furnace kicking on or, you know, they were starting to peel off. Some of them were ripped because I think my daughter was picking at them. So I wanted to replace them. And then I got two 4th of July things. I got these window clings. And I love that it says support our troops. I'm all about supporting the troops. I have a lot of friends and family in the military. I love this little heart one. So I will put these up in my window when I decorate for the 4th of July. And just if you guys want to know, um, I saved this sheet. So when I cling them up there, I save this. And then when I put them, take them down, I put them back on here. And I haven't had a problem with them not sticking like the next year. So like the ones that I used for um, Easter, I bought like two years ago and they're, they're still sticking. So you don't have to throw these away when you're done. They do last you if you save this piece or maybe you can even put it on something else if you throw this away. Just a little tip in case you were wondering. I just don't like replacing them. I mean it's only a dollar but sometimes the designs are different or you can't find the ones that you had that you liked. So anyways, the only other thing I got were three of these bouquets of patriotic flowers and that's what they're called. Patriotic bouquets. They're little daisies that are red, white, and blue. So I got three. I thought those were super cute. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I'm probably going to put them in this. This has been on my wish list. Finally found it. It's the tin with the Jew twine. So I'll probably put these in here. And then I found these. And I wanted these when they were like, when everybody was hauling them and my stores never got them. And they finally did. So they're the little decoration balls. I picked up the chocolate colored ones. They had all the colors, but I like this one the best. So I'm just gonna save these. Probably for the fall, I'll put them in a vase with some fall flowers. And then I picked up three of these chalkboard wood stakes. Um, I'm probably gonna save these for my daughter's birthday party um, because I like to make a lot of little treats and stuff. And I just thought that would look super cute sticking out of there and then we can label it. Or, you know, I might find something else that I want. So I picked up three because you get four in each. And then that way I can use them for my son's birthday as well. Or if we have a barbecue. Or, you know, if we have a party or something. I just thought those would come in handy. So I'm not necessarily going to use them for like a planter. Unless we decide to plant like basil and parsley and like some herbs. Then I might use one of these so that we don't get them mixed up. But anyways, got those. I got two towels. I don't really like these because I don't like the way they feel um, this inner part but these ones are pretty soft compared to the ones I've seen before and it says let the sand be your seat as the waves hit your feet and it has little starfish loved the colors I was gonna get the ones that were like a cream color and they had seahorses they match my tumblers that I got that said sit back and relax but my husband washes his hands after work and he's a mechanic so I can't have white towels because they just turn all black so that's why I usually pick up two because he uses one and then I use one for decoration so I don't know if I'm going to use these to actually dry towels or just hang them for decor but I got those I thought they were pretty and I got these napkins to match it you get 14 in here they're really nice napkins so got those and then the rest of this is food but I did find this Quick Whisk Mini. Um, I saw a couple people hauling it. 
and it says push and mix with force twist, stainless steel construction, easy to clean, top rack dishwasher safe, no cords or electricity. So, and it does have a lifetime warranty, so that's pretty cool. It was only a dollar, so I don't have high hopes for it, but if that works, then that's awesome because I don't have a hand mixer, I only have a KitchenAid. And sometimes, you know, you just want to whip something up real quick and you don't want to have to pull your KitchenAid out just to mix something. So hopefully this will work. Got that. My daughter found these little pop-ups with the suckers inside. So she got Princess Poppy and Guy Diamond. And I found little baby Groot. My husband loves Groot and Gardens of the Galaxy. So got that for him. Probably just put it up. To, on one of our shelves or something because I love the little emoji hard eyes that he has. So I think I whip like I think I cleared my store out of um, the Biggs Taco Bell sunflower seeds because my store hasn't had them in weeks and I didn't save a bag for us to when we travel this weekend. So when I went to this one they had a snack zone like I said and they had tons of sunflower seeds. I picked up four. I can't find one of the bags. I think it's it fell out in my car, but I did pick up four of these. Um, so I was super excited to find my sunflower seeds because my store didn't even have the ranch ones. And I even like those, but I really like these ones. And I don't even know if they sell these at grocery stores because I haven't been able to find them anywhere. Um, picked up four more of these tunas of the lemon pepper. Husband loves these. I like these. Just not as much as he does. But every now and then I'll eat one. So I just picked up four more to have in the pantry. And then my daughter found this marshmallow unicorn poop. I don't know. I was laughing. I was like, really? I've seen people haul this a while ago. And my store never got it. So they had a whole bunch on a clip. On like every register. So she picked up that. Then I let her pick up some fruit snacks. She likes these Crayola ones, and you get a lot in the bag, so these are a good deal. I don't mind picking up these ones at, there, at the Dollar Tree, and you get six in here. So I'm going to save this box for when we go this weekend, so that way she has a new box, and that way if my sister doesn't have any, normally my sister does have them, but just so that way my daughter will have some in the car, so I got that for her. These are so good. I am addicted. Like, you have no idea. This is probably something that I'm going to be picking up every single time I go. Doesn't matter if I have some. I still have some, so it's not that I'm out. But I freaking love these. And I want to take some with me when I travel. I want my family to try them. So, had to get those. I've never seen this before. I love mangoes. And I like to buy them fresh, obviously. But we haven't gone to the grocery store. We're not going to go this week because we're not going to be here. Um, and I've been craving mangoes and I don't like hard mangoes. I like my mangoes soft. If I'm weird, then I'm weird. I am weird because my sister likes them hard and I like them soft. So there's like never in between, but I found a can of mango slices in light syrup. So I even looked at my husband. I'm like, have you ever seen this before? And he was like, no. And I was like, neither have I. That's weird. But it's a 15 ounce can. So I'm going to give that a whirl. Try that for a snack. Okay, sorry about that. My kids are just all over the place this morning. And so my store has been out of the Progresso breadcrumbs for a while now. Um, and I use them for a lot of recipes. So I picked up two of the breadcrumbs because this other Dollar Tree had a whole bunch. So I picked up two because I'm completely out. Well, actually I have like this much left at the bottom of one of them. So I picked up two of those. <laughs> And I picked up a huge thing of water. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. But I am going to add in what I got from Walmart to show you guys. Because um, it was only a few things and I don't want to do a separate video. So I'll just show you. Like I said, I went specifically for red paint. I didn't get red paint. I bought paint, but not red. I was on the phone with my sister and I think I was just distracted. I wasn't looking at my list. Um... So, but it's okay. I found this one at Dollar Tree and hopefully it'll be the right red. So these were 50 cents. I have another DIY hopefully coming up next week or maybe the week after. Um, I still need some stuff for that and I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. So that's going to take me a while. But I need lime green paint 
and this one's lime sherbet. I have a lime green, but I think it's darker, and I think I need both. So I needed a lighter lime green, and then I need pink, and I didn't know which one I would need or if I would need both. So this one's pink eraser, and then this one is fuchsia. So I got those. I got a box of popcorn. It's already open, but you get six bags in here. My daughter got a water bottle, but she's using it. It was only 98 cents. There's no straw. It just has a little spout on it. We're trying to show her how to use those because she likes the ones with straws, but she chews on them and then they don't work anymore. So hopefully this one, I mean, she spills, but she's learning obviously. And then I picked up a set of pajamas for my son. It has little sharks on it and fishes and sand castles. But look at there's little sharks down here and it was $7.44. And then I got two shirts because my shirt that I was supposed to not wear until Mother's Day, I wore it and my son got a stain on it and it I sprayed it. I even put a little bit of Dawn dish soap on there before I washed it and it didn't come out. So I wanna get a new I wanted to get a new shirt to wear for when I go visit my family. So I picked up this one. It is a lot bigger than I would like, but it's super flowy. It'll look really cute with some leggings. It was only eleven eighty eight, so I got that. I loved the flowers on it. And then I picked up this one, and Ellen DeGeneres has a clothing line, and it's called EB1. And the only reason why I know this is hers is because on the box there was a picture of her, and then it said her name and stuff. So it says love, and it was originally $10, and I got it for 7 So I thought that was really cute, and it's super flowy, it's really soft, so I got those. Alright you guys, that is it for my... Dollar Tree slash Walmart haul. If you like Dollar Tree hauls, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, please subscribe, become part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.